In this video, I'm gonna share three things that uh, you can do with the Scale by Tech CRM system powered by Go High Level. And let me just move my face on the way. The first thing is the dashboard. Um, that's pretty standard. Uh, there is a lot of buttons. But uh, that's not what we're here. We are here to look at the first item on the list, which is centralized communication with all your leads. What this means is that for a lead, this is me. So I can't show anybody else because that would be sharing their information. So I'm gonna only focus on myself. Um, but in this centralized place, you get all the conversations from your lead being it SMS, email, if they write on Messenger, Instagram DMs, um, Google Business, profile chat, all of that. If they fill out a form, everything goes in here. So this is super handy when you are communicating with uh, different leads and different people and having an overview of what have been said throughout the history. Um, so very very nice feature and we have all the emails all the sms i call myself by different names so oh, just to test the system um so let's move on to the next uh, point which is the automations under workflow so workflow automations and specifically i'm gonna focus on the initial reply from from forms and chat widgets so on my website i have a chat widget and i have um those fill out a form thingies where you can fill out a form and get in contact with me. And how this works is when it's filled out, we start an automation where we trigger it either by web chat or chat widget, sorry, or web form. So one of these two, then we add a tag to the contact, and then we send an SMS. So hello or hi, first name, this is Hans from Scale by Tech. We got your message and we're gonna get back to you ASAP. So they're gonna receive an SMS as soon as they fill out a form, which gives a very positive um, feedback to a potential client that we're actually on the case and um, we're yeah, taking care of their responses or their inquiries, sorry. Then we go, and uh, create a personalized message through uh, chat gpt it is um, integrated inside this automation so you can just ask uh, prompt it right in here so we're asking it to write a 10 to 30 word follow-up for this incoming message we want to clarify um, what their exact needs are it's just more or less um, adding additional questions via email so we can, it gives a, gives us a little more time to respond um, in person. Plus, if we ask follow-up questions which are personalized to their inquiry, we might get additional information right from the bat, which uh, helps us to better serve the customer. So this ChatGPT is then fed into our email system here. So we say, hi, first name. This is the Scale by Tech Assistant aka Robohans. I always start when I'm using uh, predominantly AI written answers. I sign off with um, AI assistant or scalable tech assistant. Then just let me know, we got your message. And then we add in this chat GPT response, which is a personalized follow-up sequence or message uh, in the system. Then we assign the new lead to me. Um, and then the last step is to send an internal message. So it sends an SMS to me stating that we got a message from this contact first name and then the form submission, whichever it is. That means that I'm alerted whenever someone submits a form. Have you ever tried to submit a form and no one ever answers? So that's why I've added this. So we so I always answer my um, incoming questions from chat widgets and forms. And the third item I want to show you is a folder which I call the Omnichannel Lead Nurture. And what this specifically does is um, when running a campaign, I can tag them with a specific tag. So uh, in my instance, I have AI reply. Then when people come in and have this tag on them, if they reply on email, Facebook Messenger, Instagram DM or SMS, they will all be sent to the same AI and we have a centralized um, database for all the replies. That means that inside this automation, 
we have the trigger is the customer replied um, and we need the tag to be AI response. So a customer replied, it has the tag uh, AI response and the reply channel is email. It's just coming from email. Then we wait 30 seconds just to seem a bit natural and not put like, we have different automations so putting in some wait time is good. Then we actually call an API. No, sorry, we call a webhook. So this webhook is on make. Many of you know this place. So we uh, call this webhook, then we feed it all this information and then it sends back a response to this node, which then feeds the response into an email. That means when a customer replies, uh, and is tagged in that specific scenario, like in a campaign, for example, you're running a specific campaign, new prospects are coming in. We then send it to an AI and let's just go over to this one. And this is, and all the responses, both the email and the, let me just go one back. So all responses go to the same make script. And this is where it gets pretty cool because we get the web hook in, we then save data into a data store, we then ask uh, ChatGPT or GPT-4 to write a an email reply. We send all that information back. So we know the specific channel, we know the name, we know the company, the company's speciality that is uh, scaled by tech at the moment. So this will be your company. Um, and then we ask it to create a reply based on all those different parameters, um, which means that when replying to SMS, it will reply short and concise in an SMS form factor. When replying on email, it will reply how an email should look with a high first name and signing off. When replying on Messenger, it will do it in a chat um, way. And then we, we store all our communications inside this data store. What that means is that you can actually communicate with the same AI on all different platforms and it will know the complete communication history of that lead. So let me just state that again. If a customer writes an email to the AI, goes back and forth, books a meeting, we send a follow-up SMS, and then he writes on SMS or text, when did we have a meeting? The AI will know all the communication history, even though it was through email or messenger, it will have the complete history or communication history. And it will actually also know when meetings are booked because they are put in the data store as well. So you can ask the same, it's a centralized AI assistant, which answers on all channels. So no matter where they come in, we always answer the same background data and keep track of everything. So we don't have stupid AI uh, stating the same thing. We actually know what we said before. So you can continue a communication. Uh, let me just pause a second. And to uh, prove that I'm not just pulling things out of thin air, we can go back to uh, my little, um, my own contact here. And I just asked uh, a couple of minutes ago, what services do you offer? And at the moment, this AI is um, responding that we uh, offer omnichannel lead nurture systems to help manage all your inbound leads effectively. And then I can just reply, cool. Um, how to proceed, I don't know, something like that. See, I popped up right there. And then the system will do its thing, go in and run this scenario. Then it come in here and then run the make script. Then let me go back here and then it will answer. And there we go, fantastic. Uh, to take the next step, we'll need to set up a quick 15 minute call to discuss your needs how your system can help. You can book a meeting and then we add in a link here. So this can essentially manage your leads from very, very cold inbound to warm prospects that starts to book meetings. And this example here is um, a real example with a real customer where I blanked out like all the things that I could blank out to not show anything. <laughs> um, and this conversation was over SMS. It was 22 messages back and forth and it continued uh, for two days, like over a two day period before he got to uh, actually book a call. So from from the text here, you can actually see that we've, we started giving him the free, we are asking like, what do you want? the uh, do-it-yourself 
free do-it-yourself or done for you or an agency model for the block booster blueprint and to start with he just said that he wanted to try it out himself and we gave him or the ai gave him the link for the community and he said perfect and then it continued the conversation the next day where he actually wanted to book a meeting the ai gave him the uh, booking link and he went ahead and booked the meeting and became a client all that happened automatically due to automations and an awesome crm that can handle all these things and everything is integrated into one consolidated place um so i hope you found this valuable and um write something in the comments if you have a question um yeah See you in the next video. Bye.